Hello, I'm Henny C.P. Marquez. Today, we will discuss about the Mendelian and non-Mendelian inheritance. So, before we proceed to Mendelian and non-Mendelian inheritance, why Mendel is known as the father of genetics? Gregor Johann Mendel, born on 22nd July 1822 in Australia. He did his high studies in physics, mathematics, and natural science. In 1856, he started his famous experience, and in 1865, he represented his paper, experiment, and a plant hybridization at the Natural History Society of Brune. In 1900, Three scientists named Hugo de Vries, Karl Korenz, and Erich Thermark rediscovered his finding and postulated three laws that are known as Mendel laws of inheritance, so that Mendel known as the father of genetics. Now, let's see Mendel law of inheritance. Mendel law of inheritance number one is a law of dominance law of dominance in a cross between two organism pure for any pair of constructing character the character which appear in first generation is called dominant and the one which is suppressed is called recessive a cross between Homozygous dominant and a homozygous recessive will always express the dominant phenotype. Thus, there is always law of dominance can be explained with the help of monohybrid cross. So what do we mean by monohybrid cross? Monohybrid cross is a cross between two pure parents differing in a single pair. Of constructing character is called monohybrid cross. Pure parents Mendel, curly hair in human is also a good example of dominance over straight hair. The law of dominance is significant of true but not universally applicable. Number two is law of segregation. Law of segregation, the allelic pair and hybrid segregate or separate during the formation of gametes and that during the formation of new gamete. It receives only one of the two factors and are pure for a given trait. Therefore, this is also known as law of purity gametes. Reappearance of recessive trait in F2 generation proves the law. All sexually reproducing organisms are diploid and 2N, and gametes are haploid N. This law is applicable for all organisms. And the third is the law of independent assortment. This law is based on the hybrid cross. So what do we mean by the hybrid cross? It's a cross between two pure parents differing in two pairs of constructing character. Mendel third law states that, that the alleles of two different genes get sorted into gametes independently of one another. The law of independent assortment is applicable only for those traits which are on different chromosomes. So let's proceed to non-Mendelian of inheritance is a general term that refers to any patterns of inheritance in which traits do not segregate in accordance with Mendel's law. Non-Mendelian inheritance are basically inheritance patterns that do not follow one or more law of Mendelian genetics. This law describes the inheritance traits linked to single genes and chromosomes in the nucleus. Non-Mendelian inheritance has different types. Those are incomplete dominance, 
codominance, multiple allele trait, polygenic inheritance, and sink-link inheritance. Incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele for a specific trait is not completely expressed over its pair allele. Incomplete dominance is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele for a specific trait is not completely expressed over its pair allele. Number two is codominance. Codominance is believed to be violation of the law. When the alleles for a particular trait are codominant, they are both Express equally rather than a dominant allele, taking complete control over a recessive allele. This result that when an organism has two different alleles, it will express both the same time. Contaminance is a relationship between two versions of gene. Individual receive one version of a gene called an allele. From each parent, if the alleles are different, the dominant allele usually will be expressed, while the effect of the other allele, called recessive, is mass. Third one is multiple allelic traits. Traits controlled by more than two alleles have multiple alleles, although any one person usually has only two alleles for a gene, more than two alleles can exist in the population gene pool. Theoretically, any base change will result in a new allele. Four is a polygenic inheritance. Polygenic inheritance occurs when one characteristic is controlled by two or more genes. Often the genes are large in quantity but small in effect. Example of human polygenic inheritance at a height, skin, color, eye color, and weight. Polygens exist in other organisms as well. The last one is sick-link inheritance. Sick-linkage describes as the six specific patterns of inheritance and presentation. When a gene mutation is present on a sex chromosome rather than a non-sex chromosome, in human, these are termed X-link recessive, X-link dominant, and Y-link. That's all. Thank you and God bless.